Hey everybody, Jim Gordon, also known as Jimalytics here, and today we're going to do an implementation speed run of Adobe's AEP, or Adobe Experience Platform. Our goal is to get data from a website into a data view in customer journey analytics. Now that seems pretty intimidating if you've ever used Adobe Analytics or even if you've used CJA before, um, but I wanna show you how easy it is to get some basic data from a website into customer journey analytics. Now we're gonna do this speed run. If you're not familiar with speed runs, uh, typically a speed run is when you're trying to set some sort of record in a video game. Uh, today there's no established record, but we're going to set a baseline. And my goal is to finish this in under 10 minutes. So we're gonna try to do this entire thing end to end in under 10 minutes. So let's get started. So we're gonna have the timer down here at the bottom right, and I'm going to start in three, two, one, go. All right, the first thing that we need is a schema. A schema is a definition of what the data needs to look like when it goes into our data sets. So I'm gonna quickly create this schema. We're gonna create an XTM experience event schema because we're gonna try to replicate what we get from websites. I'm gonna add some field groups here and Adobe Analytics typos are, are what's gonna hold me back. And we're gonna add the Adobe Analytics Experience Event Template. And this includes all the necessary stuff that you're going to need to collect data about your website. And I'm gonna wait a second for it to populate. And we're gonna call this Speed Run Schema. Makes it easier to search. And in just a second, the Save button will light up. It's still propagating. We're gonna save that, and our next step is going to be to create a data set. We have to tell, uh, we have to let AEP know where to send that data. So I am gonna save this, go to data set, create our data set. We're gonna create a data set from a schema, and the schema is going to be a speed run schema. Boom, next. And we're gonna set our destiny, or we're gonna name this speed run data set. Finish, boom, done. Next step is we are going to create a data stream. The data stream is what points the data in the direction of the data set. We're gonna call this uh, speed run data stream. And the schema is going to be speed run schema. And if I clicked on advance, I could add a bunch of stuff like city and uh, state and all this other stuff to collect automatically, but I'm not gonna do that for uh, this speed run. But we need to actually add this to launch uh, speed run. And the first step is to add the web SDK extension, so. Okay, install, boom, boom. We're gonna keep it as alloy, as the object name. And we're gonna look for the speed run data stream. It has to know where to send the data between the different environments um, in launch. So I'm adding these speed run data streams and I'm gonna click save. Our next step is to add a data element and we're gonna call this XDM object under web SDK. We're gonna say XDM object and this will automatically track a few objects where all the asterisks are. That's where there is auto tracking and we're gonna add a library. We're gonna call this speed run development, add all change resources, save and build for development. We need to add a rule to say uh, that something should fire. We're gonna call this speed run rule. Why not? Uh, or Dom, ready. Let's, let's actually practice good naming conventions here. At least decent naming conventions. So when the Dom loads, what I want to have happen is I want to send an event 
and that event is going to be a page view and from the XDM object data set. So I'm going to keep these changes uh, and select a working library, of course. Save to library and builds. And once this builds, we're going to send this into production. And immediately after this, what we'll need to do is create the data view in CJA. So I'm pushing this into production. And once this is built, we're going to check to see if the server call is firing. So it's there. And refresh. Boom, there it is. That interact uh, network event. And here is our XDM object. Now, I'm not stopping the timer yet. I'm wasting a little bit of time here uh, explaining some things. But let's go into customer journey analytics. And what we'll do is create a connection. Create a new connection, and we're going to call it speed run connection. All right, we have to add a data set, and our speed run data set should be at the very top because it's sorting it by most recently created. And we're going to click on these checkboxes to import new data and backfill existing data. Oh, uh oh, person ID. Um, we're just going to select MCID and data source type, it's going to be web data. Add data sets, save, and then the last thing that, ah, average number of data, daily events, we're going to say less than a million. Let's click save, and our next step is to go to data views, and we're going to create a new data view right here with the connection of speed run connection, speed run data view. All right, save and continue. I'm not going to mess with the time settings. And we want to add in everything that we can add into this. So we're going to let this load in just a second. Um, I'm doing this in the middle of the day. So uh, if there's a lot of folks using this, um, screw it. We're just going to save and continue. And save and finish. And let's go to workspace make sure that it's all there boom blank workspace and speed run data view and from here we can add in days and sessions and all that stuff so i'm going to stop the timer boom done it looks like our final time was six minutes and 38 seconds to do everything from end to end and that's actually a really, really good time considering I spent a lot of time uh, explaining stuff, typing in names, and uh, and honestly, you know, I'm at a peak hour right now. What time is it here? It's 1.30 p.m. Uh, so for folks who are nervous about the amount of time that it might take to set up AEP um, or CJA, just know that to get the basics together, it can take less than 10 minutes pretty easily. Just follow the steps I did here. Obviously, this is a speed run, so there wasn't a whole lot of, uh, um, I, I didn't do a whole lot of explaining uh, uh, about the process. So um, I'll do more videos where we go more in depth about why we do certain things and how stuff works. But I appreciate you watching through this whole thing, and I hope to catch you next time. Anyway, thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.